everyone, welcome. I'm so excited to be here with our special guest, Pastor Scott. Hi, Pastor Scott. Hi, how you doing, Ms. Marms? I'm doing wonderful. I am so excited that this is week number two for the Fruit of the Spirit for our Staycation Bible School. And guess what the fruit is this week? Is it bananas? No, not bananas. Is it apples? No, Pastor Scott is not an apple either. How about a grapefruit? <laughs> no, Pastor Scott, the fruit of the Spirit this week is joy. Joy? joy. Oh, I love that fruit of the Spirit. It's the greatest thing ever. Right? Jen, give me a J. J. Give me an O. O. Give me a Y. Why? What's it spell? Joy! Yay! For the fruit of the Spirit, joy! Pastor Scott, what does it mean to be joyful and have joy in our lives? It means for us to always have an eye out for where is the good when things go bad. So, I like to think that if I scrape my knee, I can go and find my mom or dad and they'll give me a hug. Or if I've lost my favorite toy and then I see my older brother and sister trying to help me find my toy, that gives me joy even when I'm sad that I lost my favorite toy. That's really interesting, Pastor Scott. So even when things are sad, we can still try and find joy in that. Absolutely, because God always gives us joy he provides for us happy places, even when we are in a sad place. Like, for instance, when it's really dark and the monsoons are coming and it's lightning and thundering outside, I know that I have stuffed animals in my bed that I can gather up and I can hide myself under all my stuffed animals. and. Still may be thundering outside, but those stuffed animals, they give me joy. And I thank God that my mom and my aunts and my grandmas and my grandpas and my uncles and my dad got me stuffed animals so that I have something warm and comfy to hold on to when it's dark, cloudy, thundery, and rainy outside. That's wonderful, Pastor Scott. I'm so glad you shared that with everyone. I know when those monsoons come, I'm going to be huddling down and hugging my stuffed animals. Boys and girls, before we get started with joy, I thought it would be a good refresher to hear what it says in the Bible again about the fruit of the Spirit. I always love going to my Bible to find out what God has to say about the things that matter to me and how I can live a good life. And today, as we learn about joy, I want to read from the Bible a book called Psalms in chapter 16, verse 11. And this is what the Bible says. It says, You have made known to me the path of life, and you will fill me with joy in your presence with eternal pleasures at your right hand. How about that, Miss Marmaduke? Wow, that is a powerful, powerful passage. He will fill us with joy. And that's the greatest thing ever. Yeah, it, it is. Our faith in Jesus will bring joy and peace to our hearts. Yep. That is beautiful and wonderful. Love it. Love it. So now, boys and girls, we know that God is our joy and that we experience this through his word. So guess what? I cannot wait to see this, all these lessons that you are going to see today about joy at our Staycation Bible School. Pastor Scott, are you excited and joyful? I'm excited. I'm excited about crafts. I'm excited about songs. I'm excited about, well, whatever snacks my mom or dad provides for me because you always got to have snacks at Vacation Bible School, right, kids? So I cannot wait for what we've got ahead because it is going to give me joy. 
Let's get started. The fruit of the Spirit. When you have the Holy Spirit, you will produce love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Joy. Woohoo! Ice cream. This is going to be good. Ah! Hey, Armin, what's the matter? My ice cream fell on the ground. Hmm. Sounds like you need some joy. Thankfully, I was looking on the internet and I found this. The Joy Hat 4000! I've got a bad feeling about this. Now I just need to press this and... Are you sure about this, Micah? And pull this. This feels funny! Oh. Ah! Armin, do you feel joy yet? Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you guys doing? Giving Armin joy with the Joy Hat 4000. This isn't working! Well, you're looking in the wrong place. Try Psalm 1611. It says, You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. You see, Jesus wants us to find our joy in knowing him. A lot of things can make you happy, like ice cream, or being right all the time, or getting straight A's, or an autographed CD of the dream, dude. Baby, baby, baby. Or even a Joy Hat 4000. But those things won't last. The joy that comes from Jesus lasts forever. I never thought of it like that. If my joy comes from Jesus, I can be happy even though I don't have any ice cream. That's right. And he wants us to show that joy to everyone. Wow. Thank you, Micah. I'm so glad I don't have to have a hat to make me joyful. Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Rose now. I'm here to tell you another story from the Bible. We're talking about joy this week, and this is one of the stories that is so joyful. It always makes me happy. You probably know this one. It's from the time that Jesus was born at Christmas. So Jesus had already been born. Remember, he was laid in a manger in the stable. His parents were there, Mary and Joseph, probably some animals. This is what comes next. That night, a star appeared with all the other stars in the sky. And of all the stars there were, this one was the brightest. It made all the other stars look pale beside it. God had put it there because Jesus was born. He wanted everyone to know. So he shined a light right on where Jesus was born. Now, if you were gonna send angels to sing a song for Jesus being born, do you think maybe it should go to a big city where lots of people could hear it? or maybe to a palace where a king lived? That's what we might think, but that's not what God did. God said, I'm gonna send my angels to some shepherds. Shepherds were the people who took care of sheep when they were out in the fields. Now, back in those days, some people didn't like shepherds because, well, they hung out with sheep all the time. And so a lot of people thought, they weren't very important, but not God. God thought the shepherds were so important that that's who he sent his angels to. The angels with the good news about Jesus being born. An angel appeared. The first thing the angel said was, don't be afraid. I have a message for you. It's a great message. The news is, God's son has been born. Jesus has been born. And I'm here to tell you this good news first. The shepherds were so excited, a little scared, but so happy. And as they were listening to the angel, a whole bunch of angels showed up and they sang a song to God, a song that said, glory to God, Jesus is born. 
peace and joy to people everywhere. After the angels left, the shepherds said, we have to go see this baby. So they ran off to Bethlehem and they found baby Jesus in the stable with his mom and dad. And they were so excited. After they saw Jesus, they ran through the whole town telling everybody that Jesus had been born. It is such a story of joy. It makes me happy just telling it to you again. And boys and girls, joy is one of those things that God puts in our heart. So even when we might be sad or even when we're happy, our hearts are happy because we know God is with us. It doesn't have anything to do with what we have or who we're with because we know that God is always with us. See you again next time. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Staycation Bible School. This week, we're going to be talking about the fruit of the Spirit, joy. We're going to make a fun craft that we are going to make a joyful noise to the Lord. So you, your parents can go and download what you need to make your craft, all right, your template. And I'll tell you what supplies you're going to need. You're going to need two plain paper plates. You're going to need some markers, some stick glue, a pair of scissors, a hole punch stapler, and you're going to need something that's going to make the noise inside of your tambourine. I have a couple things that you can just find around your house. I have some noodles right here you can use. I have some beans and I have popcorn. It all will make a great noise inside your tambourine. So the first thing you're gonna do after you get your mom or dad or an adult to download the template, you're gonna color it. Use all your colorful markers. You can color in the words, however you wanna do it. Then you're gonna cut it out. So we're gonna go around, it's kinda easy. You're just gonna go right around the circle and cut it out. So let me get done doing that. A little challenging going around in a circle, but I know you can do it. All right. Okay, so we're done with that. Then when you glue it to the paper plates, you're gonna glue it to the back of the paper plate. So that's the part that's kind of bowed up. And I take my glue, I put it on the back of the piece that I cut and colored, put my glue all over there, put my cap back on my glue, and then I'm gonna glue that to the back of the paper plate. Then on this paper plate, on the inside part, I'm gonna take some of my beans. I'm gonna take kind of a handful, and I'm gonna put them on the paper plate. Then, I'm gonna pick up my, my stapler and I'm gonna put my paper plate on top. And you can have your mom or dad help you, but I'm gonna staple the edges of the paper plate down. You gotta kinda hold it together. And stapling is better than gluing, boys and girls, because the gluing might come undone, but the staples will not. So we're gonna go all around. I'm gonna put kind of a lot of staples so it, they hold the beans inside. So I'm gonna try to do this. Get this all around here. Whoops. I didn't miss it. Alright. It's a lot more simple than I thought. Alright, so we've got all of our staples on. Now, one thing that you can add with a hole punch is I'm gonna put a couple holes down here on the bottom. And if you have some ribbon. You can get some different colored ribbon. You can all use different colors. You can use the same colors, whatever you want. Put it through your hole here. You can practice your tying. I'm gonna just tie a knot with my little curly ribbon here. And then it's gonna hang from the bottom and just make a little added touch there. And then you can go out and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Have a great time making craft, boys and girls. Oh, here's what it looks like when it's all colored and you have your strings hanging down. Bye. Hi kids, it's Mrs. Barrett. Welcome back to VBS. And for those of you whom this is your first year, you're in for something fun. 
Mrs. Marmaduke asked me if I could show up each week for your VBS lesson and teach you a new song with some dance movements. And of course I said yes. Now the first week we're talking about the fruit of the spirit, the fruit being joy. So what better song than Power Shuffle? So here are some brief actions. Some of you have done this song with me before because it's one of my absolute favorites. So here we go, it starts like this. I feel it in the air right now. It's all around, I see it everywhere. It's the power. Yeah, God's power. It's the power to move any star. It's the power to heal my broken heart. It's the power. Yeah, God's power. So don't hold back, no, don't hold still. God is here and he is real. Take four steps to the left, to the left. One, two, three, four. Turn it all around and move to the right. One, two, three, four. Take tiny little jumps, four to the front. One, two, three, four. Four jumps back, but you gotta look back. One, two, three, four. Now freeze. And everybody clap your hands. Now stop. And then we do it all over again. Give it a whirl. Good luck. And I'll see you next week. with joy. So I have kind of the same 
ingredients as I used last week when we did the experiment about love, filling our hearts with love and our hearts overflowing with love. I have vinegar, baking soda, um, but today I actually have a balloon and I have a couple funnels because we're going to do this experiment a little bit different and collect some of the gases that are produced when we make the chemical reaction between vinegar and baking soda and it's going to show us what happens when we spend time getting to know God. So let's get started. So I have a balloon and the balloon actually represents you and I. Right now it's deflated. I haven't spent any time in the Word. I haven't spent any time in church lately. So right now I'm pretty deflated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of vinegar and the vinegar is going to represent the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to take some vinegar and I'm going to put it in my vessel here, my empty water bottle. I'm using a funnel to do that. It just makes it so much easier and so much less messy. So there's my vinegar. Um, and then I'm going to take my balloon and actually I'm going to spend a little time filling it with baking soda. And the time that I'm spending is kind of like um, representing the time that we could be spending getting to know God. How do we get to know God? We get to know God by going to church, uh, by talking to others about him and sharing our views and hearing what they have to say as well. Um, here at the preschool, we get to know the Lord through our Jesus time and chapel times. Um, and one important way to get to know God is through prayer as well. So right now, I'm just filling my balloon with some baking soda, getting to know God, spending a little time, and watch what is going to happen when we, i put a little more in here, when we have spent this time, watch what happens. I'm gonna take this, and I'm going to put on my safety glasses. All right, so, when we spend time getting to know God, what happens inside of us is the Holy Spirit starts to fill our hearts with his love and with joy. So this is us getting filled by being in God's word. This is all the joy. Oh, and I'm worried it's going gonna, it's gonna to pop. I think we did it perfectly. So joy comes from being with God, and we can feel that joy in the good times and the bad times. But the important thing is to be in God's Word and to get to know Him each and every day. Thanks for joining us this week. I hope you're having a great day, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye. Wow, what fun things we just learned about joy. I loved that Bible story and the craft, making a joyful noise. Oh, Pastor Scott, what did you like? I loved the blow-up balloon filled with joy. That was a fabulous reminder that God always fills us up with joy, even when we find that we're sad. And I always love to sing, and so I loved the power shuffle, because mm, mm, I am dancing, oh yeah, and I am filled mm, mm, with joy. So good. So great. I loved it. I'm going to be singing and dancing to the power shuffle all day long. So, Pastor Scott, what are a couple of ways the kiddos that are watching this can feel joy, can do joy this summer or th this week? What, what's their task this summer for joy? You know, kids, I want you to remember that you can be joy when other people are sad. If your brother or sister is sad because they lost their friendly stuffed animal or the monsoons are really raining down hard, you can go and give them a hug or maybe bring them a snack that they like. You can be a high fiver for your mom or dad when they do something really great. Maybe you hear them talking about something really wonderful that happened at work today. You can say, Great job, Dad. Way to do that work that you do, Dad. You can be the joy when other people are finding their hearts are sad. I like that. I'm definitely, definitely going to do that. That's wonderful, Pastor Scott. Thank you. You bet. 
Awesome. So boys and girls, I would love to hear and see your ideas that you came up with for joy and what you're going to do to bring joy to your life and your family life. So your task this week is to send me an email. I want to know what you were doing this week for joy. Have your mom and dad or guardians help you send me an email. My email address is j marmaduke at s-o-t-d-a-z dot org and next week i'll read some of your responses and then you can share that joy with everyone that listens again next week i can't wait so send me your emails before we go can i say a little prayer for everybody out there at our staycation bible school because i am so proud that you guys are involved and we cannot wait here at shepherd of the desert to say hi, give high fives, and welcome you back to preschool, children's church, and the ministry, the congregation that we love. Would you pray with me, please? Let's fold our hands, close our eyes, bow our heads, and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for Jesus and for the joy of knowing you, that you take care of us and you love us, and you give us joy, even when times are sad. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Scott. You are amazing and so joyful. Thank you, Miss Jen. I appreciate it. We can't wait to see you kids soon. We'll talk right. to you later. All right, bye. Bye. Spirit.